and welcome back, guitarist. Uh, today we're going to be working on He's a Jolly Good Fellow. Uh, we're going to be learning what we call 3-4 time, which means three quarter notes in a measure and the quarter note gets the beat. So in this case, it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Traditionally in music, when we have three beats in a measure, it's usually played in a faster tempo and this kind of gives it a nice dance quality. 3-4 time is usually kind of a, a jolly or a, a dance feeling time signature and it gives us that momentum. Everything kind of moves. One, two, three, one, two, three, like a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So whenever we have that in our in our midst, we're usually looking at it's probably gonna be a little bit faster or it's going to have more of a lively attitude. It's gonna have that kind of um, that mood. So as it says in number 26, we're just gonna kind of have that practice. Let's start slow. And uh, let's, I want to indicate one little special thing that's going to be happening is how we fill that entire measure of three. We don't really have a symbol that has that. So what they do is they take this uh, little dot here next to the half note and that makes three beats. That little dot indicates it's going, you're adding half of the value of whatever it's next to. In Langmuir's terms, if, you ha if it's next to a ha half note, you're adding one beat to it. If it's a whole note, you're adding two beats to that. So it would be, you would go from four to six. If you added it to a quarter note, that means you're adding an eighth notes time to it as well. So, and we're gonna talk more about it, but for this, you just need to know that when you see that half note with a dot, it means three beats, okay? So uh, let's look at number 26 and you can see that they have the staples. They want us to have it all down strum, okay? That's what that staple means is to go down with the, with the string. So let's focus on our G string real quick. Okay, we don't even need our hand on the fretboard at this point. Um, but if you want to palm mute this so that you can kind of get a little bit more separation and not have your hand fly off the rails uh, as you pluck, instead of just like scooping it out and, not, and losing your place, you can keep your hand against the bridge and just rotate like that and you're going to hit it every single time okay so let's go ahead and uh just keep it right there uh we're going to do it about this speed one two three so let's take it uh, we're going to do 26 uh, uh, several times and we're going to just increase the speed so let's try it first sight reading it we'll do it at a slow tempo one two three one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. How'd you do? If you need to rewind the video and practice that again, go ahead. Um, at any time, we're really, I'm really now wanting to push us uh, instead of just uh, learning in, in this case, since we know the, the note is always the same, I want us to focus on being able to read the rhythms right off the bat. So that's why we're going to just focus on that for this lesson. So now we're going to increase the tempo just slightly. Here we go. One, two, three. 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 Okay, uh, let's do it a little faster now. Here we go. One, two, three. 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 So the faster we go, we start feeling this more of a big pulse, a one, like a, a pulse of one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it has kind of more of a feeling of that, almost like we're playing like triplets in a note. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the beat feels like the entire measure. So let's see if we can get it up to that tempo. Here we go a little bit faster. One, two, three. 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 All right, let's do it a little faster. Here we go. One, two, three. 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 All right. 
Now I'm gonna go a little faster. Here we go. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Alright, even faster. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Alright. Here we go. Uh this will be the final tempo. And one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. All right, great job. All right, that gets us to the next song. He's a jolly good fellow. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the notes. And uh, here we can see that we have B, 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 A, B, C. Okay, even just saying it after we've had that feel, you can even feel how this tune, he's a jolly good fellow for he's a jolly good fellow. Okay, and so we have that, once we have that pulse kind of in our ear, it makes it a lot easier to, to play. So let's just read those first three measures, okay? Let's do it a little bit slower. B, 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 A, B, C. One, two, three. B, 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 A, B, C, two, three. Okay, let's look at the next three measures. We have B, B, A, 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 G, A, and let's just do that much. One, two, three. B, B, A, 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 G, A. Okay, let's play that whole first line. One, two, three. B, 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 A, B, C, two, three, B, two, A, 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 G, A. Okay, how you doing on that? Uh, if you need a rewind or you need to slow it down, go ahead and pause the video and get yourself caught up. I want to try to stay at this tempo for those that uh, have have been uh, practicing up to this point and kind of pushing forward. I want to try to get that our increase in reading speed. So if you can do it and manage it, great job. Keep going. Otherwise, just take some time and uh, be patient with yourself to get the rhythm down. Here we go. Moving on to the second line. Uh, looking over it, B, G, A, B. B, B, A, B, C. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. B, two, three, G, A, B, 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 A, B, C, two, three. Okay, let's put those two lines together. It's gonna make more sense in the melody as, as we play. It's kind of a little disjunct in the melody from where they split it from the two, two uh, lines. Here we go, starting at the beginning. A one, two, three. B, 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 A, B, C, two, three. B, B, A, 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 G, A, B, two, three. G, A, B, 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 A, B, C. Okay, and now we got the last line. E, E, D, E, D, C, A, G. Here we go. One, two, three. E, E, D, E, D, C, A, G. Let's try that last line one more time. One, two, three. E, E, D, E, D, C, A, G. Okay. Let's play it uh, one last time and let's see if we can increase the speed a little bit. One, two, three. B, 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 A, B, C. Let's see if we can increase the speed even more. Here we go. One, two, three. B, 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 A, B, C, two, three. B, B, A, 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 G, A, B, two, three. G, A, B, 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 A, B, C, two, three. B, E, D, E, D, C, A, G, two, three. All right. Let's go even faster. Here we go. One, two, three. B, 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 A, B, C. B, B, A, 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 G, A, B, G, A, B, B, A, B, B, A, B, C. B, E, D, E, D, C, A, G. All right. If 
you can't get it at that speed, that's okay. Um, but just keep practicing. Uh, once you learn the pattern, it becomes a lot more uh, attainable. Uh, make sure that you're keeping your, your hand in a uh, proper position. Just stay, stay put. Don't move your hand a whole lot and you'll be okay for this, okay? But now, let's take a look at the chords for this, okay? And you'll notice uh, we already know these chords. So we have G uh, for two measures, then C for a measure, G, and then D7 for two measures. Let's just do that much. So we're going to, uh, and then for this, what we're going to do is we're going to go do three straight downs, okay? So for each quarter note. So quarter note strums. One, two, three. So let's just go ahead and sit on a G for a little bit and uh, let's slow it down. Uh, so for our quarter note, uh, let's do it about. Okay, so let's just sit on a G real quick and ju or just palm mute. We're gonna just go ahead and get it around this speed. Okay, get your strumming nice and comfortable. Feel that. Pulse, two, three, one, 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 two. Here we go, starting on G, okay? One, two, three, And I'll sing along this time with it. Here we go. One, two, three. See if we can do it at a faster tempo. The goal is is to get it at that that like the way that everybody sings it, right? Here we go. Let's do it a little faster. And one, two, three. <laughs> job let's see if we can get it even faster here we go and one two three <laughs> all right and here's the fastest tempo here we go one two three <laughs> all right be patient with yourselves and uh if you can't get it to that speed don't worry about it uh get as close as you can and if it gets to a point where you are just super frustrated put it uh, aside, work on it for a little bit. And then if you need to, you can skip over it. Um, I'm gonna, for the performance practice, I'm gonna do two versions. Uh, there will be one at 1.30 and then a faster one as well. So you can practice and see how, how fast you can get it. All right, we'll see you guys on the next, uh, on the next video.